All right, so this is my 8.8 .8 that we went over and got from the junkyard for $162. Came with the drums, the or the disc, the calipers and everything. It had uh, 373 gears with limited slip. We went ahead, took everything out, stripped it down. Now we're chopping off the uh, the brackets, getting it ready to be uh, welded up for the uh, the TJ. So. Right now we're letting the grinder cool off because it's really hot and uh, we'll hack off the uh, last three remaining brackets. Okay, so this is where we're at. We got the new 456 pinion installed. All the brackets are cut off. I'm about to uh, put the gears back in it. Over there is the G80 Volvo differential for the front of the Jeep. There's the rest of the gears. Oh, there's the limited slip. And as soon as the Jeep gets back, I'm going to park it and start jacking it up and taking parts off. I'm going to do the the G80 first, and probably this tomorrow, get the rest of this done, pull the rear axle off, and get that going. So, now, it said it needed special additive. Everyone I talked to, we got two different kinds here. We got the limited slip uh, supplement. We got the synthetic power uh, limited slip. Gear oil. And got some of the cheaper stuff there for the new gears because we're going to have to flush it here in like 500 miles. But uh, new brakes, new everything, so hopefully we'll get the rest of this put together and it won't take too long. Uh, and then we can kind of get this mess cleaned up and get the next Jeep in here because he just went and bought a new XJ. So that's going to be the next project as soon as mine's done. All right, new day, new pain in the ass. So we got all the brackets cut off of the Dana 35, which I found was bent, uh, I guess, from doing my normal off-roading uh, or coyote hunting or deer hunting or fill in the blank other stuff. I blame my daughter. She uh, she's 10. She was driving it and uh, she kind of jumped it one day. Or at least that's who I'm gonna blame. So if you ever go to do this. Uh, I know we were short on cash and we're trying to do it as cheap as possible, but buy the brackets. Holy crap, is it just time consuming to cut it off. Uh, one of the brackets we actually split and re-welded uh, up the center because we just couldn't get in there to cut it off and weld it uh, properly. So it's been re-geared, then we slip it back in it, got the first bracket on. We're leveling out the next one, and uh, let's see how it goes from there. Yep.
that. Okay, so there it is, finally welded up. Got the spacious on, brake lines on. Ah, uh, filled up. Uh, brackets are all put back in place. Now we're about to stick it underneath and smash our fingers. Wish us luck. Okay, so we finally got it back up underneath there. Got all the brakes bled. Uh, still got to paint it. Took it out on the road. Just put some stuff in the dirt. Made sure the uh, limited slip work light was supposed to. All my brackets held up. Bounced them around a little bit. I know welding looks like crap, but so far so good. Now for the brake lines. We didn't have any way of clamping the brackets, so we just used the uh, hose clamps right now until we get a little bracket to actually attach. For the hoses up there, we just actually tack welded the old bracket for the 8.8 .8 on. Because I didn't have a way of bolting it on. Overall, good uh, so far. Performance is uh, what I was hoping. 456 gears. So down here, and the uh, the only thing I will tell anybody who ever goes to do this is go to the junkyard and get an extra left side uh, brake cable, so you hook up your uh, factory Jeep lines to it. And the ZJ brake cables work really well, also. So, but if you don't really want to fucking beat your brains out when it comes to cutting those brackets off, just buy them. I know it sucked. I, I really didn't have the money to do it. Definitely in the long run it would have saved me a lot of heartache and time. It still only took me uh, three days. One day, get the axle, re-gear it, cut everything off. Another day to uh, get everything welded back on and installed. And then this morning we came out and bled all the brakes. So we still got a little bit of air in the, in the line, but other than that, it's good to go. We're going to go test it out. Okay, so went out, we're testing it. Uh, brakes still need a little more, but overall, uh, we're going pretty good. Went out, tried into some sand. Both of them are locked up like they're supposed to. Uh, a couple more days, we're going to put the G80 in. So, once we do that, we'll come back out and hopefully we'll get the actual video of it on the front and the rear. So, we can get an actual video of it sitting there. Kicking out dirt and climbing some of these hills and rocks. This place out here is called Red Sand. It's really, really sandy, and it's not really where I want to go at because people come out here and they just shoot randomly, so I don't want to get shot. But I think next time we're going to go out to New Mexico, up will be out on land and uh, climb up on the Mesa. There's a steeper terrain and you know, more rocky terrain, so it should be, uh, should be pretty good. We'll see how it goes.